72-year-old John Babcock had a heart transplant last March. He is now enrolled in a highly specialized cardiopulmonary rehabilitation program at UCLA that is helping him regain his strength and reclaim his life. Oh, it's great because uh, the team is uh, very knowledgeable, they're, they're professional, and they sort of act like your own personal trainer. It's a treatment just like medications, but it's exercise, healthy diet, management of stress, lifestyle medicine. <laughs> Just like medicine, like taking a pill, but in the form of exercise. <laughs> Heart patients come to the UCLA Cardiac and Pulmonary Rehab Center two or three times a week for up to two to three months. The routines are highly personalized and the patients carefully monitored. You know, whether it was a minor heart attack or a cardiac arrest or valve surgery or bypass surgery, oftentimes they're scared to get back to exercise and rightly so. That's why they're monitored. We have the EKG leads on everyone and we can see how their heart rate's responding, um, how their blood pressure is doing. We also you know, can check blood sugar levels. If you're unsure of yourself uh, after the surgery, you don't want to do injury to yourself. So you kind of hold back and they kind of help say, you, you're on a monitor, you know, we're here, go for it. She had a heart transplant, he had a heart transplant, he died before he got his heart transplant, I had my heart transplant. It's been a difficult journey. All but one of John's siblings were born with life-threatening cardiomyopathy, a weakening of the heart, and in need of heart transplants. Following the transplant, this program also provides much-needed emotional support. Now that he has received this new heart, the work that he and I would do together is to help him integrate the new organ, not just, not just the body integration, but also for the mind. UCLA offers this traditional recovery program, but also more intense lifestyle classes, like the so-called Ornish program, aimed at prevention. We want to avoid heart disease, which is one of the leading causes of death in the country. And science, the evidence is showing that through programs like this, um, the risk of heart attack can actually be reversed. If you're exercising, your blood pressure is going to be lower. Also, your cholesterol levels will go down. So those basic things um, that we give people a lot of medicines for, sometimes the medicines aren't even strong enough. You need to have the lifestyle component there also. John is looking forward to living life to the fullest. Travel, family, the grandkids, and with the help of his cardiac and pulmonary rehabilitation team at UCLA, he's got the toolkit to take great care of his new heart.